Nikki, what is it? Kristen? I'm busy. I want to apologize. Nikki, look, I'm writing a letter to my best friend in Virginia. You're just going to have to wait. That weird girl you met at camp? Yes, that girl I met at camp. She's your best friend? She always has been. Look, I'm sorry I threw my pen at you. You hit me in the eye. I didn't mean to. I have a mark. Please forgive me. Why would you do that? I was mad at you. You could have just told me. I did tell you. That was really mature. I asked you to stop. Stop what? What was I doing? You kept going on and on about the stupid pool. I don't care if you know all the boys. I don't care if you're getting your pass. I don't care if you're getting your suit. Oh, you're jealous. You got jealous when you tried to blind me. He barely hit you. Stop making such a big deal about it. <laughs> you're jealous because my parents are earning my pool pass and yours are. My parents are earning my pass because I'm moving. The house I'm moving into is a pool in the backyard. <laughs> I found out last night. My dad got a job from the stupid town in Connecticut. It's an hour away. You can't move. I have to. <coughs> when? In a month? A month? You don't have to move. Your dad can drive for it. He can take his car. He has like 10 million cars. He hates driving. Who's going to walk to school with me every day? Who's going to walk with me? Who will I do my homework with after school? What about me? I have to find a new tennis partner for class. I do too, you know, Nikki. This is great. Just great. I'm never making friends with anyone ever again. I'll only end up having to say goodbye. I'm the one that has to move. I've lived through my whole life. I don't know how to start over. Just go. Let's just get over it right now. You've been a great friend. I'll miss you. And maybe I'll see you someday before I die. Or maybe I won't. You won't. I'm going to make new friends. And this time, I'm going to find people who aren't selfish. I wish you didn't have to go. <coughs> We're still being friends, right? We better. So, can I come swim in your pool sometime? You'll have to buy a How many times is 
Mr. Pilgrim called us down here. How many times do we have to go over this? We have to tell him the truth. We told him the truth. The real truth? We studied together. We have the exact same answer. That's what happened. I'm not going to lie anymore. Didn't we study together? Ten minutes before class. Is that a lie? You copied my whole test, word for word. Keep your voice I'm not fooling anybody. They have no proof. I told my mom last night. She kept hounding me. She was online. She kept staring me down. I couldn't handle it anymore. Is that why we're here? <laughs> you told on me. I had to. Don't speak to me. Don't ever speak to me again. Do you understand what my parents are going to do to I'm me? I'm sorry. They're going to send me to military school. No, they won't. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Don't blame me. Who should I blame? You're the one who didn't study. I studied. You told me yourself that you watched you for five hours and I have four. You thought it was funny. I started the next morning before school. Don't lie to me. What are you going to do? Tell on me? You want to distract me in this. I'm going to pay for your laziness, laziness, and stupidity. Honesty is the best policy. Do you think it is? No matter what the price. Is there a price? Then I'll tell about last week's math test when you wrote the formulas on your palm. Do you dare? Honesty is the best policy. Then I'll tell about you turning your brother's research report on Greek mythology. You do that, and I'll tell about how you stole that bad new racket from Jim. It's a second grade. It's a serious offense. I'm sorry, I told on you. I don't you. care if you're sorry. You're the should be sorry. You dragged me into this. I can say that you copied off with me. No, you did it. You call my mom, she'll believe me. Your mom's in the office. I have to get out of here. Where are you going to go? Brazil. I'll be back when I'm 18. All you have to do is go in there and cry and tell them what a horrible person you are, and that you'll never cheat again. I'm still going to get punished. What were you being grounded with in seven years old in Brazil? Try one month. It's still better. You're probably right. I'm never going to cheat again. So what do you do about this social test?
about John and Jenna be worried about? <coughs> yeah, I'm real worried. I hope this doesn't end up coming between you guys. That'd be a shame. <laughs> you don't have to worry about it. I mean, you look kind of so bad. She's not too weird. <laughs> Why don't you just go bug somebody else? Fine. I just want to tell you she's insane. What did she say? Are you sure you want to know? Just tell me. Well, she's been real secretive. She hasn't said anything to me. But I overheard her say something about how you are a power freak and you didn't want her to run. It's one of the things I really couldn't hear. Yeah, Jen wouldn't say that. <coughs> I didn't just want her to say something like it. Jen wouldn't talk about me behind my back like that. You're right, I probably heard it wrong. Yeah, you probably did. Hey, can you help? Stop me.
and gentlemen, I've just come from the principal's office. He has approved a proposal made by our presidential candidate, John Mitchell, that would make it possible for each student to be excused from one class every week. I hold in my hand a prototype of the Mitchell voucher. This voucher would allow every student to be excused from one class every week of his or her choice for the rest of the year. Sounds too good to be true? Yeah. yeah. Well, here's the catch. In exchange for your missed class, you'll be asked to serve on their cycling team. Doesn't that sound reasonable? No. Under the same plan, we could have that class period as free time. Instead, we could move recycling time to before school. It might be inconvenient for you to go to school early and neglect your morning routines. But for those of us that shower, it's an inconvenience. That's a funny thing to say coming from someone who has her bag. <laughs>